Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 102. Yesterday, the very first video in the second part of the series, from day number 101 through 200 in the second series, yesterday was our very first video on day number 101. We discussed the notion of rational number versus irrational number. And what we learned yesterday is that a rational number, a rational number is something, is something that has either a ter terminating. How do you spell terminating? Either a terminating decimal or a repeating pattern of decimals. For example, for example, 0 0.545454545454, that pattern repeats here. It never ends. 0 0.545454, it never ends, but it is it does have a pattern. That pattern repeats, 0.545454 is a repeating pattern, and therefore that is a rational number. That is a rational number. Right now we're talking about rational number. A rational number, a rational number is something that can be either written, that is, a rational number is something that has either a terminating decimal, or if the decimal does not terminate, if the decimal never ends, if it goes on forever and ever and ever, that's okay. It will have, in that case, if it does not have a terminating decimal, then it will have a repeating pattern. As we can see here, 0 0.54545454. And that work turns out to be, I should know by heart, but I don't. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to take a chance. That turns out to be 6 over 4, or 6 over 11. That turns out to be 6 over 11. Here's another example, uh, 0 0.33333. It never ends. It just goes on forever, but clearly, there's a pattern here. The pattern is that it's just 3. It just goes on forever. And of course we know that that is simply 1 over 3. And so on and so forth. Or it will have a terminating decimal. If it has a terminating decimal, it's a rational number. For example, 0.75, it, it ends. It's a rational number because it can be written as a fraction 3, 4. So, if it either has a terminating decimal or a repeating pattern, then the result is that if it either, one more time, if it either has a terminating decimal like this one, 0.75, it ends there, or 0.125, it just ends, 0.125, that's the end of it, that's the end, that's the end of the story, 0.125, that's all she wrote, 0.125, it ends, and therefore it can be written as a fraction, it's just 1 over 8. So if it has a terminating decimal or a repeating pattern of decimal, then it can be written as a fraction. It can be written as a fraction. A rational number is something that can be written as a fraction. A rational number is something, a rational number is something that can be written as a fraction. So that was Recapitulation of what we learned yesterday. That was recapitulation of what we learned yesterday. Recapitulate. We learned this word in our vocabulary lesson yesterday. I'm going to quickly, not yesterday, we learned this word uh, in our vocabulary lesson. So uh, in the past, I'm going to quickly give you a look up and tell you which day we learned it. Recapitulate. So that was the recapitulation of what we talked about yesterday. Just give me one second and I'll find it. If I try to look up, look for it in a hurry, it will take twice as long. Capitulate. There you go. Day number 32. Day, vocab, day 32. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in vocabulary words, whichever exam that you're preparing for, SAT vocabulary words, day 32, or GRE vocabulary words, day 32, and learn the word recapitulate, which simply means the overview, the summary of what we did yesterday. So that was the recapitulation of what we did yesterday. At the end of the video, in yesterday's yesterday, yesterday video, at the end of the video, I gave you a homework. I gave you a couple of problems as a homework. 
And the homework was, it was your job to figure out whether these two quantities, 1 over 7 and 89 over 152, are rational or irrational. Well, I'm here now, in, in front of you, I'm here now, in front of you, to, to inform you that that was a damn silly thing for me to do. These are damn silly questions. Why? Because I'm telling you it's 1 over 7. That's it. It's, if it's 1 over 7, it can be written as a fraction. The bloody thing can be written as a fraction because I'm giving you as a fraction. If it's, give, if it's written in a fraction's form, it's a rational number. That's what a rational number is. A rational number is something, anything, any quantity, any quantity that can be written as a fraction is a rational number. They are presented to you in, a, in fraction form. Since they are presented in a fraction form, obviously they are rational. There is nothing to discuss there. Which means, which means what? Which means that if you were to do it out, if you were to do out, if you were to divide 1 by 7, we're going to find either this scenario or that scenario. Either we'll find a situation where the decimal will eventually terminate or it will have a pattern. It will have a repeating pattern. I want to find out which one it is. Does it end? What does it look like? Or does it have a repeating pattern? I'm very curious. I want to find out. I want to do it out right now. Okay, let's do it together. Let's do it together, see what happens. We'll do it here. We'll do it here. Hopefully we'll have enough room. I'll make sure that I don't take too much room. 1 divided by 7, I'm not going to take too long, we're just going to do it. I'm not going to explain all the steps. So 1, of course, does not go into it, so it's point. It becomes 10. 10 goes into it once. 7, 3, you stick a 0. It becomes 28. 28 is 4 times. You get a 2, stick a 0, you, you go 2 times again, it's a 14, you get a 6. I'm not going to explain everything, it's just a simple division. I want to see, I want to see if there is a pattern here. I want to see if it's a repeating pattern or if it ends. It either has to have a terminating decimal or it will have to have a repeating pattern. I want to find out which one is it. Which one is it? Obviously it's a rational number because it can be written as a fraction, because it is given as a fraction. I'm curious whether it falls in this category or that category. So we up to 6, becomes a 60. And 56 is how many? 56 is 8. 8, 8, 8, 7, 8 is a 56. You get a 4, you stick a 0. 7, 5 is a 35. You get a 5, stick a 0. 7, 7 is a 49. Aha! What do you suppose will happen now? What do you suppose will happen now if we ended up with what we started out with? We end up here with 1. We started out with 1. We'll stick a zero here, zero, we'll have a 10 here, seven will go into one time, we'll have seven, it's 10 minus seven is gonna be three, we'll end up with three, stick a zero, and the pattern will repeat. Because of the fact that we ended up at the end, somewhere, somewhere down the road, we ended up with what we started out with. We started out with one, we ended up here at one, which means this is the repeating pattern. It will go on forever and ever and ever, amen. What I'm trying to make you understand is that the pattern does not need to be very obvious. The pattern does not need to be very, very, very short string. It could be actually a very long string. It could be a very long string of uh, numbers that you can have. Here, if somebody were to ask you how much is 1 over 7 in decimal, the answer is 1 over 7, 1 divided by 7 is equal to 0.142857, forever and ever, amen. It will never end. Despite the fact, despite the fact that the decimal does not terminate, despite the fact that the decimal does not terminate, it is a rational number because there is a pattern here. It either terminates or it has a repeating pattern or decimal. This one doesn't terminate, but it does have a repeating pattern or decimal as we clearly saw here. Let's look at the next one. The next one was 89 over 152. 89 over 152. What can we do it? Let's do it right here because I don't want to erase any of that. 89 over 152. 89 over 152. If you were to do it out, if you were to do it out, you will find that it is. I'm not going to actually do out the whole thing. I'm not going to actually do out the whole thing only because I don't want to give it away that some of us don't have a life. Do you understand? This is what you do if you want to prove to somebody 
that you are a bona fide nerd, a geek. And I don't want to give it away, so I'm not going to actually do it out. But here's what it is. 5855-2631-5789-485 and 0. That's it. It ends at 5. That's it. That's the answer. That's the answer. Now, do you know why I made such a big fuss about this particular quantity? I'll, I'll share with you why. Because it ticked me off when I saw it. It really ticked me off. As I was preparing my lecture notes for this particular video, I was browsing through the YouTube and see what, what other people have to say on the subject. And, actually, I, and I actually found one video where the gentleman was proudly telling his students that 89 over 152 is in fact an irrational number. That was a damn silly, stupid, idiotic thing to say. You don't have to do all of this out to realize that it actually ends or it has a repeating pattern. You don't have to do any of this thing. How can the bloody thing be a rational number when you are giving it to me in the form of a fraction? If, it can, if a quantity can be written as a fraction, one number divided by another number, that is the definition of a rational number. That's what makes it rational. What makes a quantity a rational number is the fact that it can be presented as one quantity divided by some other quantity. And if you can do that, it has to be a rational number. It will have to have either a terminating decimal, eventually it will end. It may take forever and ever, but it will eventually end or there will be a repeating pattern. What probably happened was, what probably happened was, he sat there with his calculator and he divided 89 by 152 and his calculator of course could not fit all the digits in there because there's a limit to how much you can see in the screen and because it never, it never finished and because he saw no pattern in there, he jumped to the conclusion that 89 over 152 must be irrational. That was a very silly thing for him to say. I hope and pray to God for the kids of those, that particular school. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.